Hello, hello, and welcome back to I'm a Lover Legacy Challenge. I'm Married with Sims. Thank you for clicking on my channel and watching the video. Um, we are currently with Gen 1, Danny Hart. Um, here she is, our lovely Gen 1. And um, I'm really excited to continue this legacy. So what we're going to be doing this episode is we're going to begin in Cass because I did ask, you know, for some input on some on her outfits and what she looks like. Um, I'm not the greatest, you know, I'm, I'm really not the greatest in cast. Sometimes my fashion sense is a bit off a little bit. So I didn't get a lot of, um, I didn't get a lot of people who responded with the, with, um, sorry, with things about her, her outfit, but my husband did jump in. I showed it to him and he's usually my, my Sims outfit editor. He's, he's got a really good eye for fashion and stuff. Where is this shirt? Um, and he said that this shirt looks completely awful with these pants and he's probably correct. So I'm going to go ahead and change this shirt out. Now, usually when you click on the shirt, it takes you right to the shirt, but it is none of these shirts. So, um, I'm wondering if the CC is kind of messing up with that. Because usually, like, you click on it and it takes you right to what it's on. But let me see if I can figure out what shirt this is in the first place. And he probably rightfully said that, you know, she needs to do some more pastel colors, maybe a more pastel pink mint. Oh, like, actually, you know, and he's totally right. That looks so much better. But I did like the tucked in look, so I'm going to see if I can find that. So while I'm doing this, I don't know what happened in the last video. Um, I think I know what happened. I think in the last video, I clicked pause because um, I had to, something was going on, so I had to pause the recording. And then when I unpaused the recording, it didn't really unpause. Um, and so we lost maybe the last five or 10 minutes of the recording. Basically nothing happened. What seemed to happen, why? Why is this? Is this? Oh, is this a t-shirt? Is that why it's not in blouses? Um, I just want the shirt she had on. Is it? It's not that shirt. Not that's, now, I don't want pink. It doesn't really work with her hair and stuff. But yeah, he's right. The pastel blue is much better. Um, anyway, sidetracked. So um, what basically happened was she invited over the librarian, Kenji, and she told, and they just kind of hung out for a while. She got to know him a little bit better um they just talk to each other and they're not in a relation relationship or anything like that so um so you, we didn't miss anything like that yeah that looks that actually i think that does look better um if anyone has any opinions one way or the other about the blue shirt versus this minty green shirt please let me know um and then i also wanted to fix her face because i think her face is too far in and she doesn't have a chin so i do want to fix that although Maybe that chin's too much, but I think her face was too squishy. Yeah, I was rewatching the recording. And I was like, "What is? What's wrong with her? Why does she look kind of weird?" Okay, I think that's I think that's better. Yeah. So really, all she did was um, she hung out with Kenji for a bit. We locked her computer. He tried to get on her computer, and of course, we locked it. That's her computer. He's not coming over to get on her computer. He's coming over to hang out with her. So I have a mod. Um, I. Th think I don't remember who exactly it's from I will link the mod down in the comments below but basically I have a mod that makes it the friendship bar a little bit higher before they're actually like good friends so right now they're still acquaintances um, I don't know if this amount of green is usually acquaintances or not but the mod that I installed kind of upped all the numbers between like acquaintance and good and friend and friend and good friend because what was happening was everybody, it's so easy to become good friends with someone or become friends with someone even. And so everyone was getting the people personality trait. And I don't know if you've had that issue in your game and you're like sick of everybody being a people person. Because um, once you reach a certain level of charisma, all you really have to do is introduce yourself to someone and bam, you're good friends. So I found a mod and it increases what it means, the, the amount of green you need for all of those. So because of that, um, Kenji is still an acquaintance, but he is a bookworm and he's a caregiver and um, he's really promising. She finds him attractive, which is perfect, and he's a librarian and she loves books. But for now, let's continue in with her um, challenge. It is 9 a.m. I believe she works. She does not work today. Today's her day off. So I think we're going to have her read 
some books she's going to read. She did check out a book from the library, which is how she met Genji. I think her books, good, her books are still in her inventory. Um, I do think that she was only supposed to check out one at a time. I was re-looking at the checkout books from a library mod, and um, you're still reading, right? Okay, good. I was re-looking at that, and I think that she really was only supposed to do one at a time, um, so we might have to you know, delete a book or something, because I think we just stole a book from the library. So we're going to do some reading. She loves to read. She loves romance. That's kind of who she is. Um, if you're not familiar with the I'm a Lover challenge and you didn't watch my previous episodes, I do suggest you go back and watch those. But if you didn't, um, basically every generation has a different idea of love. Gen 1, she's all about like finding her soulmate. She's very ro flirty. She's very romance oriented. Was that the romance festival? No, that's Geek Fun. Okay, she's level 3 now. Um, she wants to make it in the world by being a romance novelist. So she's in the writer career right now. She's a writer's assistant as she's getting some experience with that. Um, but really she wants to write romance. So I'm just having her practice writing until she's able to write some romance. So she's starting her morning with uh, reading and writing. And then maybe you can't, she's a writer. She's still in her, she's still in her robe, you know, true writer behavior right there. Um, this is her cute little tiny house we're in. I haven't seen any suggestions for other um, traits. I think right now she's got a romance lot trait and she's got the, She's of course she's got the tiny trait. Um, she's level four. So um, change, don't change them. Sorry, change outfit. And go ahead and put on your new minty outfit. And maybe she'll like that better. And it probably matches the headband. Oh, and I wanted to, um, I wanted to copy her makeup to everything else. I'm not sure why my MCC is looking like this. I think one of my mods did it, but it's not bothering me and it doesn't seem to be breaking the game. So I'm not really, I'm not really worried about it. So copy makeup and we're going to just paste the makeup to all the outfits, which I know does include her, her um, sleepwear, but at some point we'll just take the makeup off the sleepwear. But if we change her outfit, she should have makeup on, on all her outfits now, which is good. Okay. All right. Otherwise you have to click on each one individually. And that's kind of a, it's kind of a pain. All right. So, um, let's see, she's going to go ahead and have some lunch. Um, why don't you just have a quick lunch and then we'll head out to, we'll head out to the library, see if Kenji's working right now at the library. I don't know if librarians have have schedules or you know if, if they rotate their librarian but he's the librarian and um, I don't know if we have a day for him or what but go ahead and oh she's sad again she's feeling insecure okay well that's about to be gone so that's good so go ahead and do that try on some outfits to try to up your um, insecurity levels Here's her outfits. Mm, she's feeling good, happy, flirty. I think she stops on the outfit she wants when she's done. Unless you just have to, yeah, she just stops on the one she wants. And that's the one she stopped on last time too. And I'm, yeah, I'm really glad I pulled her face out. She looks, I think she looks better. I don't know. If anybody uh, still has opinions about the way she looks, please let me know. I'm happy to adjust her appearance. Um, I'm probably not going to adjust as we go through to the other um, the other, sorry, the other generations, but for her, I'm more than happy to, to adjust. So he worked, last time we saw him, he was working at the Willow Creek Library. I said I wanted to place a new library, but I'm kind of afraid that if I place a new library, he won't be the librarian anymore. And I kind of like this story idea that she heads to the library to like check out the cute librarian. And I don't, so I want him to stay the librarian for now. Maybe when they you know, get together. So use the bathroom. Is he the librarian? <gasps> he's, oh no, he's not. So we switch librarians. Either it's a new shift. I don't know what's going on. She's going to come in here. She checks out. She's like, oh, that's the other librarian. Mm. That's sad. Well, she can still, you know, Ooh, Vivian's calling. Um, we're just going to say under what condition? I think under what conditions or should we say no thanks? Should we get this money? Um, you know, it's first gen. It's gen one. I think we're going to say, um, 
I know she's going to get married. No, she can't get married until she's an adult. So it's not going to be seven days. I think she's going to say, like, no thanks. Or she's going to say, what? yeah, we'll say under what conditions. We'll get $2,000. I can always take it away from her if, if, you know, we don't want that. But now she's got some money, which is good. Um, well, while you're here, you know, you don't want to just pop in the library and leave. So why don't you go ahead and read? Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm thinking that maybe... I do want to max out her writing, her writing, but I also want to max out something else. And I'm trying to think of what she might. Uh, that's poetry. Um, I'm trying to think of what else she might want to max out. And maybe baking, honestly. Maybe she's like really into baking. So let's start with that. Although the baking one's not even here. Hmm. Well, that's no good. Okay, well, that's fine. She can she can read some poetry while she's here. Especially this one, The Fifty Shades of My Windows. <laughs> very cute, um, very fun title. So she's going to pick up the poetry book. She's going to read a little bit of poetry while she's here. She loves to read. She's a bookworm, you know, very into it. She's like, maybe I could read some poetry. Is poetry romance? We might do that. You know, if she ends up reading all the romance books, maybe we'll focus on the poetry books. But she's here pretending to enjoy herself, when in reality we know that she is apparently sick. Um, and so, yeah, she should go home if she's sick. When really she's like, oh, the other librarian's not here. That's really sad. Although it's kind of good because that means he's not, you know, he's not working. So he can come and hang out with her. So let's do that. Let's invite him over. Um, get her started with baking. So... She's going to bake some sugar cookies and invite him over and be super cute. Now, the rules of this challenge is that she dates one person. So um, as long as he doesn't have any, like, other weird traits. Oh, I have a mod that moved all the cake over to the bake, which is why you see bake. And it also moved um, some of the cupcakes here, too. So you can make cupcakes in the oven, which is why, like, you see the things that you usually see on the cupcake machine in here. So if I um if I remember I'll link everything down. But if you see if you see a mod in the game and you're like, ooh, what's that? And where can I get that? Just ask me. I've got my mods pretty organized in my folder. I'm not looking at my folder right now, so it's you know, obviously I'm not able to okay, and she just stopped baking. So please resume the sugar cookies. <laughs> the only bad thing with that mod is as you see it brings other stuff in there too. Uh no thanks. I don't want to be in the garden. Yeah, so keep keep baking please so I'd like every generation to max out a skill other than the skill that like is for their career or the skill that really that they're doing so she's going to I think she's gonna max out the baking and that makes sense for her she's really cute now she's not feeling great so why don't you take some medicine now that you have money um so we're gonna Where's Slice of Life? I just re I've this update's been out for a long time. Um I just re I just uploaded it. I mean even in my last one it didn't show the update, but because I hadn't done it. So um she's gonna take some medicine, hopefully get rid of her sickness, and then she's going to call over Junji. So invite to hang out. <laughs> They're not really, they haven't really started the romance. Even when he came over, you know, she told him that he was really cute, but that was, that was pretty much it. Okay, why don't you do a bit of cleaning up before he gets here? Come on, clean up. And he's here. So let's add him to the group and we'll grab some cookies. And we'll grab some cookies together. And then hopefully, you know, and then he can try our baking. It's probably not is how good is it? It's sparkling. Oh, it's excellent. Oh, very cool. So they're gonna have some cookies and um, discuss the latest book. He's a library. He's a librarian. He's into books. She's into books. He's a sage. She's a lover and a sage. He's a sage, and I think he's a sage and a caregiver or hero, maybe. I don't know. So they can talk about recent studies together. They would really like that. Talk about how they both really like. It says thank him for cooking. He didn't cook. <laughs> he didn't cook at all. That was her cooking. 
All right, let's see if he's still single. Oh yeah, we asked him if he was single last time. He said he was. We didn't ask him out or anything like that. Um, so they're not, you know, they're not in a relationship. But let's check if he's still single. Let's make sure he didn't like get married in the last, <laughs> in the last five minutes or whatever. Um, get to know. He's still single. Excellent. Excellent. And he's neat. And he's an art lover. Okay, we have all his traits. He's an art lover, neat, and perform. And he's a sage. And he's a caregiver. And I really think that he's perfect. I think they're perfect for each other. Relate to feelings because she's what? Because she's an... Is it because she's an ENFP? That's probably it. So he is a librarian. Now that we know his career officially, can we see what... Um, what's he doing? Oh, he's probably cleaning for us. Can we see, like, when he works? We can! So he works from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. every day. What's he doing? He's, like, checking himself out in the mirror. That's pretty fun. That's pretty funny. Well, while he does that, why don't you go ahead and clean that up? And we can probably afford nicer counters now that we got the $2,500. Oh, I don't know if I want this to go this quick with the money. Because mm. she can't get married until she's in. She can't get married till she's an adult anyway, so she's not having money anytime soon. So I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to take out that $2,500. If you think that that's a bad idea and you think that she deserves that $2,500, please let me know. But she's going to be on her own in this house basically for the next um, 21 sim days. And she's going to be getting a lot of money from that. Also, I wanted her mm -hmm. to step into the spotlight because she wants to be a famous writer. Okay, so let's see if let's see if she, he thinks that she might be. Um, let's be a bit flattering. Oh yeah, and she's self-absorbed, so she's going to flatter him, and then she's going to fish for some compliments on her own. Okay, are they friends yet? I don't know. This is the first time I've like I said I just did this mod, so um, I don't know if they're are they friends. Now they're friends. So I think usually when you're up this high, you're like good friends already. So now they're actually friends, um, so this is pretty exciting. She's not going to necessarily have the people person. Can you do a super romantic compliment? What do you think? What's what's a super romantic compliment according to her? And what's he into? Uh, romance. Let's see. Compliment appearance. Huh, we have a fish. She's like, okay, so tell me something nice about me now. And he's like, yeah, I love the way you clap. <laughs> Danny says, you make me feel like a man. That is that is so romantic, Danny. <laughs> She's like, what would I want to hear? That's that's what it was. Her romantic compliment is, what would she want to hear? And she wants to hear someone tell her that they make her feel, they make him make feel like a man. And he likes beards. Is that like? What is he into? Uh, huh? Yeah. Well, it says Kenji probably finds her attractive, so I think this is, I think this is okay. But that's just so weird. He's into beards. Maybe it's like the other type of beard, you know? Now, the, I did actually find a mod I was kind of interested in where the only people who you can, who can call you are people you've exchanged numbers with. I think that's a great idea. Um, I don't think it would... I don't think I'd be used to that sort of gameplay where I only get calls from people who have my number. But if you're interested in that, there is a mod for that. And if you want to know who makes it, just you know, give me a comment and I'll let you know. But I thought that would be a fun gameplay you know, for certain storylines that the only people who can call you have your number. But then you'd have to give everybody um, your number. Oh, she blew a kiss. Okay, I'm going to give them a few more things to do, and then I'm going to see just what they do on their own. Okay, so what sort of things are they going to do on their own? He's going to clean himself up. She's going to pick up the book and put it down. And he's going to pick up the book and start reading the book oh interesting of course because he's a book lover and then she he said he had to go try not to miss me too much 
Okay, well they're they're friends now, um, and they've done some romance. So like this one is supposed oh another lovebirds. Now um, this is supposed to be a slow slow burn. I mean she's gonna date him for the next twenty one days. So she didn't jump in for the kiss immediately. She didn't um, she didn't do anything like that. She's just telling him they're doing a little bit of flirting. Um, I think she's going to write him a love email, though, you know, to tell him that he's think she's thinking about him. What are you doing? Showing off muscles, I think. That was weird. But she's going to write him a love email, work on her writing, and then she's going to practice writing. And do a bit of practice, because she's not writing anything until she writes romance, and she can't write romance yet, or... I think she might need to be flirty before she writes romance. I don't know if her level's not high enough or if she's just in the wrong mood. What is is that one of the circles? That circle looks really, really dark. Alright, and you need to go to sleep. I know you're a writer and writers are wider writers have weird hours. But you do work at eleven AM. You've read everything you needed to read. You're in good shape to get a promotion today. All right, um, we're going to, are there left, oh, there are leftovers, it's the cookie, right? Yeah, she's going to have a cookie. Not the, not the greatest breakfast, but it is a breakfast, although I love cookies for breakfast. Honestly, cookies are one of my favorite breakfasts, are cookies. Um, you know, I make breakfast cookies a lot because I love cookies for breakfast so much that um, I like I will eat Oreos for breakfast if they're there. So to stop myself from eating like Oreos or chocolate chips for breakfast, a lot of times I just go ahead. Are you dehydrated? She is. A lot of times I just go ahead and get um, and make breakfast cookies and then I have breakfast cookies. So it's a bit of a life hack is if you want to eat cookies for breakfast, make healthy cookies and you can eat them for breakfast. All right. How much longer does she have on her book borrowed? She has... Four days left to finish her book. Yeah, that green shirt looks so much better for her. And she's going to go to work, but she wants to read her book first. <laughs> That's reread. Okay, so she can return this because this is, she finished it. She finished this book, so she can return it. Now, I think I mentioned in the last video that with this mod, which is not, um, which is not a Little Miss Sam's mod. I wanted to correct myself. This is not a Little Miss Sam's mod. This is a mod. Um, I put it in the description of the last video. But this mod is from... Oh, goodness. Who's this mod from? Let me just pull that up because I do want to get this correct. This mod is from SimQuest by Ilkvel. So if you're interested in that, the link will be below this video too, but it was below the last video. However, in the last video, we saw that she could snorkel anywhere, and that was a Little Miss Sam's mod. All right, she was promoted to blogger. Fantastic. Um, now she's a blogger, and she makes $32 an hour with $407 bonus and a word, word processor. Ooh, is that, a, is that a better computer than what she has? Is that a computer at all? What is that? Hmm. Yeah, this is a better computer. Very nice. So she's going to put her laptop. We'll put the laptop in the inventory. Oh, I just need to put it somewhere. Okay. Um, let's see. You can go. You can go pretty much anywhere. So you can go. No, you can't go there. Okay. Very interesting. Why can't the computer go on the counter? You would think computers could go on counters. Apparently they cannot. All right. Well, we'll just put it in her inventory inventory right now. And then I'm going to change this color to like... Do we want that, or do we want that? I guess the blue. The blue's better. All right, well, that'll stay in her inventory until, um, yeah, that'll just stay in her inventory until she's got somewhere to put it so she can transfer it to, oh, wait, 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 we can do it like this. I'll put this here. Can this go on the counter? That cannot. Okay. All right, let's put this in her inventory, and then we can reopen this and put that out, and then she can do... Let's see, what time is it? She just spent a bunch of time at her career writing. So I think she's thinking that this guy is really cute and she doesn't want to lose him. 
So she's going to invite him over. Oh, can we ask him on a date? We can't. Not yet, but maybe we can ask him when he gets here. Is she bored? Oh, yeah, she really does not like write as a writer career. She wants to be a writer, but she doesn't like having the career as a writer. Oh, he's here. Okay, can we ask on a date? Maybe we can go on a date right now. Oh, it's already 7 p.m. Okay, well, let's kiss his hands. And let's offer him a rose and tell him an unbelievable story about what happened at work today. He accepted my rose. He's so flirty. Um... I don't know. I don't know if I should go in and, and change his appearance. We're going to be dating him for a while anyway before we have kids. If you think I should change his appearance, I don't have um, alpha CC or anything like that. But if you think I should change his appearance, um, let me know if, you know, it's not. I'm not going to do it now. Or, you know, if, if I don't hear back, you know, I'm not going to do it in the next episode necessarily unless I get some feedback that it should happen. Um... What are you, you're having some cheese crackers again. Okay, well, let's say, hey, um, oh, yeah, we got a promotion. Let's share that news. Um, let's ask about a relationship. Excited. I got a promotion. I'm so excited. I will be making so much more money. So much more. I mean, it's like seven bucks an hour. So I guess in the long run, that's so much more, but that's not really so much more. I'm happy to have someone as beautiful as you, Danny. Oh, that's that's it. That's it. She's going to be like, okay, I can't let this go. So let's um, do a bit of snuggle. And then we're going to... Um, we are going to ask to be... Oh, can we not ask to be boyfriend yet? Okay, confess attraction. Like, I really, really like you. Are they not? They're not, like, in a relationship yet, are they? They're not. They're not her boyfriend. He's thinking about her. Let's do a bold pickup line. Oh. Oh, who's here? Who's this? Um, Ellis Monroe. I think they're about the same too yeah he's only been a young adult for four days and i think she's been one for 10 days because it kind of changed when you load up someone it gives them a random amount of time they've already been alive so where's where's the um can they not be boyfriend girlfriend yet is that oh, that's probably part of, part of that mod it probably makes it harder to be boyfriend girlfriend too oh very exciting okay uh let's brag about how small our house is it's really tiny Deep conversation. Let's joke around a little bit, but she's gonna. She wants to seal the deal before he goes. So, okay, try number two. You're supposed to be my romantic sim. So, let's do a super another super romantic compliment. See how that works out. Make a move. I think they're really cute together. I kind of like the pink and black combination here. I miss you even when you haven't left it. Okay, much better, Danny. I miss you when you haven't even met yet. That's that's what we're talking about. Can we do um give ask for where's ask for there's ask for massage? Huh. Actually, didn't realize that the mod said it was only for friendship. So I'm kind of why can't why can't we ask to be boyfriends? Why can't why can't she be his boyfriend? Is this a friendly? What's going on here? Why why can't we ask to be boyfriend? They're like they're so close. They're not they're not dating. Oh, oh, they just uh I wasn't going to have them kiss until they're uh <laughs> Until they were dating, but they just kind of autonomously kissed, and I think they're going to do it again. Okay, well, since we have that... Oh, there it is. Okay, so I think it is that mod that it you have to be, like, really, really high to be boyfriend. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, but that's what we got. 
I like that it messes with the friends. I, I don't really like that it messes with the boyfriend. I'm assuming it's that mod. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> very cute. Very, very cute. Okay, well, um, I think he's going to have to go because we haven't really written today. So, oh, wait, let's ask if he wants children. Do you want children? I think he does because he was a caregiving son. And then we are going to um, say goodbye. I'm going to send home. He, oh, he doesn't have kids. Okay, well, that's good to know, too. All right, so they are dating, which means... Yes, boyfriend perceived as attractive. They're soulmates right now, deeply connected with each other. If she wants to see him at work, she has to be there between 7 and 1. Does she work tomorrow? She does not work tomorrow. Okay, but she still does need to have dinner. So she's had a few quick meals. Let's give her some tofu tacos. Sounds delicious. I love tofu. Um, I actually am vegan, and I love tofu. That's I think that's part of who we are. Wow, this uh, book thing is really annoying. It's like o overriding everything. If there's a book out, that's what they want to deal with. Very annoying. All right, she's level three of cooking, which is great. And then we need to do some writing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you're watching TV, you're going to watch romance. Is that what you're watching right now? That'd be awesome if she is. No, she's watching sports. Why are you watching sports? Watch romance. We can watch romance with her. Ooh. Ooh. Very exciting. All right. All right. Now you're passionate. If you can write flirty, you should be able to do it now. So, home, write, genre book. Yes, there's romance. So, she can write romance. She just has to be in a flirty mood to do it. Is it? No, it's not done. She's just starting it. Okay, Brazen in love. I don't know about that. Let's call it. Let's let's have her do a series. So she's gonna write. She's gonna start with like a romance series. So maybe maybe we call it um, Paul Dark and Ghastly. And this is going to be a supernatural romance book. This is Supernatural Romance. She's going to start with Supernatural. I don't really want a lot of Supernatural elements in this save, in this save file. So, oh, she needs, she needs to get some wonderful stuff. She can purchase that from, the, you can actually purchase it right from the, from the catalog. Um, and then you don't have to wait for it. So, that's nice. So, she's got to purchase some of these because she'll be all set and ready to go. It's just when you purchase it, you have to drag it in the inventory. It's just more clicks. Open box, and then unpack box, and then she should be good. She's level five. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What is her thing? She needs to read. Okay, so for the writing career, she needs to read. Um, you're, You could probably finish the book now, but you're not going to. And then you're going to sleep. And there you go. I love her house. I think her house is so cute. I love her house so much. I want to give her cuter lights everywhere. Um, I want to give her some stuff on the wall. I guess we have money for stuff on the wall. Um, but I do want to update. But her main concern was her computer, but then she got a better computer. So um, I don't know if she's going to want to update it after that. All right. Well, if you want to see your boy at the library, you're going to have to go between 7 and 1, which is right now. So off she goes. She's going to go check out. We're going back to the library now that we know his schedule. We can stop him a little bit. So her man works from 7 to 1, and off we go to see him. It said he worked from 7 a.m. to 1, so let's let's make sure. Let's see how accurate that actually is. I know I'm kind of over the 34 minute mark here, but I'm just having so much fun and I don't want to leave quite yet. There she is. She really likes this outfit. She picks it a lot on her own. Um, all right. Oh, and there he is. He's the librarian. So come so why don't you sit here? Or why don't you sit here? She's so excited. She's so pumped. She loves being at the library. She got her first kiss. She's She's got a new partner. She's just so happy. And then you can talk to him. Um, 
brag about first kiss, be like, hey, guess what? I got to have my first kiss with this uh, super cute guy. You wouldn't even believe how cute this guy was. Whoa. <laughs> She's like, it was kind of like this, for sure. Oh, I thought I understood. All right, so she's going to brag about her first kiss. She's going to be like, oh my gosh, this like super good kisser, and he's super cute. And we got to kiss, and it was great. So whatever this mod is that's like adjusting the romance levels too, um, look at him smiling. He's like, oh my gosh, she's so cute. He thinks he's like, that's me. You're talking about me. <laughs> he's so proud of himself. <laughs> This is like, it reminds me of um, when in Friends, when Chandler finds out, when Monica was, you know, when Rachel tells Monica that she wants to meet like her new guy because apparently he's, you know, such a good kisser and, and Chandler just freaks out and he gets so cute about it. All right. Well, her friend Katrina's here too. This is, this is her first friend. So she's going to get to know Katrina a little bit. Um, she's gonna let him work. <laughs> We're gonna fish for some compliments with Katrina. And then, she, since she's at the library, she might as well read. While she's here. Uh, tell her about- tell Katrina about your new partner. Is Katrina leaving? Katrina? Katrina? Katrina, stop talking. Stop, um, stop walking. We're trying to talk to you. Tell her about your new partner. Talk about your new partner. These about interests. <gasps> Tomorrow's love day. Oh well, they're definitely gonna go out. Um, she might even, she might even like take a day off. Does she have days off? Yeah, she has three days. She can take off. It doesn't specifically say in the challenge rules that she has to max out her career. Um, I, I might add that just to the challenge. She might do it anyway. But it's not in there, so I guess technically if she wants to focus on just writing her romance novels, she could. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet if I'm going to have them max out, if each gen is going to max out their if each gen will be maxing out their um, career yet. So... I don't know. All right. Well, when you're done talking, go ahead and read because you have to read and you're trying to read a little bit of poetry just to broaden your horizons just a little bit. Do we have a book in your inventory to return? We do. Okay. This is the one that she's done. So she's going to return this while she's here. You don't actually have to be at the library to return the book. You can just return the book from your house. Can you read this, please? <laughs> she's... All right, so we return that, and I don't think... Oh my gosh, she just went over here. Yeah, I don't think she... Um, oh, she's got bad breath. That's okay, girl. Um, yeah, anyway, sorry. You don't have to return a book while you're at the library. You can do it at it from home, which makes it another reason this is such a great mod. And I think that she can check out another book now. This is gone. It says she returned a book, even though she she returned she borrowed two. So technically, she's supposed to return two books, but it looks like they lost that in the um they lost that in the system paperwork. How you doing with reading the book? You're almost done, and you're almost actually done with that book. So go ahead and put that back. Um, this will probably actually be done by the time she finishes that. This I think this is a flirty poetry book. All right, ask to borrow another book. We want to borrow another romance book. Her goal, one of my challenges for her that I'm adding into this challenge is that she she reads every book, every romance book, not every book. All right, so in case you didn't see this on my last video, I asked the librarian to borrow a book. Um, I could ask him to borrow a book again. Technically, I could keep asking him, but really, you're only supposed to borrow one at a time with the mod. And the librarian says, sure, you can borrow a book. Kenji said, Borrow a book, click on a bookcase in the library, and borrow the book. So I click on the bookcase, and I click borrow a book. It asks me, what would you like to borrow? And I think with the borrow book, it has, even, it has like all the books. It doesn't just have the books that is in the library. So technically, she could do Baking Volume 1, even though we didn't see it. But she's going to do another romance book. So she's read this one. I think she has seven, I think she has Seduction by the Sea at Home. I think we're going to do... Um, wands of 
Desire? What's it say? Wands of Desire. So the book she read was the Caligno and Ricochet Rondo. Who knew the violin could make such music? This piece uses advanced bullying techniques and really grabs the interest of the audience. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> this one is Wands of Desire by T.R. Ashy. Oh, by Trashy. Uh, Julie has always been cold when it comes to showing her feelings, but can a dashing older spellcaster melt her heart? Magic is in the air in the first novel of this 43-volume romantic series. <laughs> okay, this must be a new series that just came out. She wants to borrow it. She goes ahead and borrows it, now in her inventory. At this point, uh, once she starts reading it, it registers as being yeah. borrowed. So if you would stop reading, if you would stop talking, take it out and read it. You don't have to read it at the library. I just want to make sure that it registers that she borrowed it before she goes home. Um, so she starts reading it. And now she has a book borrowed, not a book borrowed moodlet that says she has three days to return her book. So she can, we can put that back in our inventory. And she's going to head home. She's got some stuff to do. She's extremely passionate. She's got, that's pretty much her all the time. She's got some stuff to do. And now she's got a new book to read. So she's going home, running really happy, coming home from the library. So if you have a bookworm sim and you were really, um, you want to, you know, have them actually use the library, this, this mod is, I just, I just can't say enough amazing things about this mod. I think after this book, she's going to borrow the baking book, um, but she's going to bake a little bit more at home to see how she does. All right, well, I'm going to have her, I don't think there's a, oh, there is a food stand. Is that food or is that just coffee? It's food too. Okay, cool. So she can actually order food here and not make it all herself. So let's go ahead and haggle. But I'm going to have her fill up her food need and then I'm going to stop the video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. He's, she's saying no. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Order food. So what's she going to have? She's going to, let's have some popcorn shrimp. All right, it's because she can't make that yet. So um, I'm going to end here as she's eating. I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm a lover challenge. I'm really excited about this. I'm. She's got her boyfriend. She's happy to be here. Um, she's just in an all-around good place. Oh, she does need to brush her teeth. So we do need to do that when she gets home. But um, thank you again. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful time. And I will see you. I um, Hopefully... Sorry, I will see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.